anointing is in this place number two believe that is interested in addressing your case don't just come and waste your time hallelujah there are families here there are medical conditions here there are people here and it's a matter of life and death people have traveled from different states different regions please don't waste your time tonight open up your spirit to receive maximally from God lift your hands everyone father tonight take over this meeting let it not just be a religious formality let it not just be manifestations without result I subject everyone under the influence of the spirit Lord I pray that in a mighty way address all kinds of situations tonight let every kind of sickness and infirmity Lord I pray that every power that has held your people down let it leave right now hallelujah lift your hands everyone there will be mighty deliverance in this place right now listen deliverance is not just the issue of falling down or manifestation are you getting my point it is the fiery power of God vetoing into your life to say enough i like the poster they they cause i like the way the media did it it was a red sea that was being parted deliverance is not just about people manifesting demons it's about god locating the spirit behind the situation it's not just headache the power of god locating the root cause lift your hands goodness the fire of God is mighty in this place. At the count of three, listen. Hear me. Hear me. Except God is not in this place. After the count of three, that if there is any spirit that is not of God, that is at the root of any man's problem, except the Lord did not call me tonight, I tell you the truth under the God whom I serve. If there is any spirit and I speak it, let my voice echo in the realm of the spirit. I speak to thrones. I challenge dominion. I challenge rulers of darkness. Every power of territory. I come with an apostolic anointing that as the shout of God's people, let those powers, let God's people go inside and outside. And all those streaming online. Listen. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout. Many of you, as you shout, some of you will step into visions instantly. Many of you, as you shout, those devils, those devils, the powers responsible for joblessness, lack of marriage, lack of progress, insanity. They must bow tonight. They must bow tonight. God is doing a quick work. And we are not going to waste time. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. Jesus, thank you. At the count of three, let the fire of the Spirit break out like a flood against every yoke, against every spell, against every enchantment. Because this is Bethel, the house of prayer. This is the mountain of the Lord. This is the place of judgment of every power that does not bear the name of Christ. Get ready now. One, two, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Three, shake your bottle. I challenge powers. Go. 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 Witchcraft. I cross you. I cross you. I cross you. Yokes. Be broken. Yokes. Be broken. Yokes. Be broken. Yokes. Be broken. Yokes. I release fire. Fire! 
My Bible tells me there is no peace for the wicked. And the Bible says these forces of wickedness, the horns that sit over men's destiny. One more time, we are going to shout that name. My God, across this congregation, locate any man, any woman, any family that have been buffeted by Satan. Let none escape. Let no devil hide. Hallelujah. At the count of three, one more time you will shout that name, Jesus. There's fire all over this auditorium. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. One, two. Oh, let it come like a tornado. Three. Victoria, who is Victoria? Victoria, I'm seeing a woman outside. Victoria, you are wearing like a red veil, red, red, like a red veil. Come, I see the chains falling. Please come. Let me tell you, tonight you will know there is God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That He's alive. Hallelujah. Stephen. Stephen, 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 White, come. Hallelujah. Hold on, let her not go, please. Those that come out, they shouldn't just get up and go like that. Hallelujah. Let me talk to you. Please come. Come. Your deliverance has come tonight. Thirteen years. Yes, thirteen years. 
20 years hold, hold on madam calm down what's the what's the situation my husband my husband has been stagnant for almost 20 years 20 years look at me because the lord is showing me a spirit this is what i'm seeing please listen and i'm seeing your husband tied to a tree this is what god is showing me what does he do he's a lawyer he's a lawyer because there is nothing moving finance zero this thing is even affecting your home because there is no peace is that true i'm going to pray for you right now this deliverance that has happened to you is not just for your sake he said as for me and my house hallelujah father is getting mad now his brother is getting mad your father's brother my husband's brother is. there's no other mic help us now it's okay chair up madam i want you to know that every time god steps in it doesn't just touch you alone the word of god goes around your house and looks for anywhere that is not like the garden of eden and it will reproduce eden there lord i pray right now in the name of jesus let there be a permanent change i command breakthrough in your family to your husband to you and i cause that madness that spirit of madness please don't come out if i've not called you don't come out if i've not called you madam the lord sets you free in the name of the lord jesus christ stephen do you have an elder brother hold on hold on who has an elder brother here come where is he I went, I left, he was not at home. Your, your elder brother, if, because I'm seeing they are looking for him, where is he? He's not at home when I left home. He was not at home when he left home. If we don't pray for him, they are going to say he's missing and they will kill him somewhere. Are you getting my point now? Yes, sir. So we are going to pray. Huh? You believe that? I believe. Please, let's not waste time. If you are wasting my time, I'll just leave you. There are many things to be done. Oh, my hands, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ step in to this family God is also restoring joy joy in your family that's what God says I should tell you there is restoration of joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ who is in Kaduna my sister your sister is in Kaduna what is she doing Yet. she doesn't have it because I see stagnation and the Lord is saying I should release breakthrough to someone in Kaduna Kaduna in the name of Jesus Christ she receives a job right now you will return with your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ come sir you are great because I'm seeing in the vision of the Lord and you are standing like a hen and you are protecting your family members the spirit of prayer is upon you otherwise many disastrous things would have happened in your home but then God is saying, I should tell you that he's stepping in as a warrior in your family. Please believe me, he's stepping in as a mighty warrior into your family. Lord Jesus, let an anointing, even through this brother, step into the family and let there be a restoration. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Madam, I need to pray for you. We need to pray against CS. Otherwise, they are going to tell you that your baby is too big. And whether that your is not expanding enough. Huh? And they will say they will cut you. And that will cause a lot of bleeding and complications. But we need to pray. Because very soon this baby is coming. Is that true? It's true, sir. We are going to pray. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We position this baby well. And we command there's no complication now and every foul devil of darkness something is leaving you i'm seeing a spirit leaving you go in the name of jesus christ god bless i'm seeing the lord is saying he's wiping the tears from your family the lord is wiping the tears from your family the Lord is wiping the tears from your family 
an anointing will come upon you the Lord is wiping the tears from your family have I finished with you please why are they out again huh? Stephen come Where's your sister? She's I have she's in Abuja. Eh? What's she doing? She's married. I didn't say is she married or she's not. not doing she anything. Doing? She's not doing anything. Yes. The Lord gives her a job now. Now! In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to pray, sir. There is a lot of stagnation in your life. There's a lot of stagnation. Huh? And you want to settle down maritally. This is a design in your heart. Is that true? Yes. You are ashamed of it. Yes, yes. You want to settle down, but yes. it's like things have not been moving. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, a wife and the resources to marry will release to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will use you for his glory, but you will step into seasons where he will walk with you and he will prune you and he will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please come, my dear. All victorious, come madness, madness. This is the spirit of madness. This is the, the strong spirit of madness. Hallelujah. This is madness, and this is not just to you. This is I'm seeing a strong, I'm seeing a whirlwind all around. Is the spirit of a wanderer like Cain? Hold my hands, Father, in the name that is above all names. Apurati shalabai. We curse this spirit. We curse this spirit. I curse this spirit. I curse this spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Vicky. I need to pray for you. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me. And the Lord is telling me wickedness all the way from Kogi State. This is what God is telling me wickedness all the way from Kogi State but we are going to pray that God will step in in your family and we are going to pray against the spirit of anger in your family it has caused the family a lot Lord let these demonic things live right now I curse that spirit by the fiery presence of God I set the family free in the name of Jesus Christ all Victoria please come next month is a season of laughter in your house go and write it next month is a season of laughter god is going to give your family a major breakthrough go and write it we'll still be alive and you come and share it it's a it's a mighty season of breakthrough mighty season of breakthrough for the family and where's your sister because i'm supposed to speak this word to her too that is you know your sister come i'm seeing another person where's the person she's in lagos she's in lagos because i'm seeing four ladies we are going to pray that in the name that is above all names this word that god has shown me will come to pass father we prophesy right now that this month of august will mark a tremendous season of breakthrough in this family in the name of the lord jesus let it be so no power will stop it in jesus name i pray god bless you my dear come where's your mother Delicious. eh doing what and for now we have to pray there are, see one of the things that i see god doing this night there are many families that are stagnated i don't know why god wants to deal with this issue of stagnation standing in one place you are moving but spiritually you are standing in one place hallelujah father i release this family right now look at me your relationship with jesus christ huh your relationship with jesus christ god is saying i should tell you that he wants you to be very serious with him that's the key all right all right please that's the key be very serious with him thank you lord jesus christ come who is grace my 
My sister. Who is Grace? My sister. Who is Victor? A friend. A friend. We have to pray because God is giving Grace a miracle. Amen. God is giving Grace a big miracle. What's she doing? My name, Victoria. Grace, Grace, Grace. My sister. What's she doing? A student. A student. Which school? She just finished her secondary school. And I have a cousin that is Grace. It's not a student I'm talking about. There is someone else called Grace. She's a cousin of mine. She's a cousin of yours. Where is she? She's at home. She's at home. We have to pray for her because God wants to bless her. And then God wants to visit your family too. Thank you, Father. Let there be shouts of victory. I curse the spirits that are responsible for every kind of predicament in this family. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's she here for? Victoria, let me pray for you. Father, visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's that? Victoria. She's in the hospital. What's she suffering from? Cancer of the blood. Cancer of the blood. Hold my hands. We change that report now. Cancer, you have a voice and you have a name. Therefore, bow to the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, can I talk to you? Please come. Your time of visitation has come. Because while you were there, the Lord was ministering to me and I heard what you were saying. You were telling the Lord that you know he will visit you this night. Yes. Come, please, let me talk to you. God is going to set your, he's going to change your entire life. Amen. 180 degrees. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We'll pray. God is addressing your health, number one. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Um, 2011, I was diagnosed of hypertension. Hypertension. Then 2006, I had a cesarean section, my last baby. Uh -huh. I lost the baby. Since then, my abdomen refused to go back to its normal size. Because this is demonic. Yes. It's not... It's it not used to it, trouble me. That's what I'm saying. So when I came here, it was one of the prayer points. I said, God should locate me in my health, my abdomen, my finances, my marriage. God is God children. is going to Madam let nobody let you think that it's too late to have a child. Amen. This is what the Lord is saying I should Amen. minister to you. Amen. Forget about what has happened. Amen. We are going to pray because until this thing goes down a child is not coming. There is a spirit that is responsible. I curse that spirit now. Go. Go. I see you in the spirit. Let this woman go right now. Go. You see you see it leaving her. You are a wicked devil of darkness. Go! 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 I prophesy and I command victory in the name of Jesus. Hypertension, you are a spirit. Leave now. Leave now. I command this thing to go down. To go down every growth every swelling i command it to leave in the name of jesus and your high blood pressure that is high i command it to go down also and this man that comes to molest you in dreams the last time you saw him is the last time you will ever see him in the name of jesus the lord is asking me to speak over your finances i command that by the mystery of divine supply let there be a turnaround miracle in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you Jesus Christ I'm seeing a woman outside one mama just like this outside outside please let's save time because we want to pray for the sick I want to see how we'll finish as soon as possible please don't stop praying keep praying God is touching people Please come. No, she's not the one I'm seeing, but just come. But she's not the one. There is another one. Hallelujah.
stretch your hands and pray against the spirit of death upon this man because i'm seeing the spirit of death i'm seeing the spirit of death we challenge this spirit oh god we challenge this spirit oh god go you will not die i cause the spirit of death i cause the spirit of death i minister life to you life 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 i'm praying for you i command breakthrough into your life madam in the name of jesus christ everything that has died in your life i command you to come alive right now in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me another woman i'm seeing you are from benway state benway state i'm seeing a woman from benway 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 please if there's someone like that let's just hallelujah benway state there's someone here you came to stand for someone with breast cancer cancer is cancer of the breast who is that you came to stand in for someone you are the one you are the one yes sir my cousin your cousin yes. breast cancer yes sir because this thing has gone serious yes sir. and it's only the power of god yes sir. otherwise they are going to cut off the breast yes, sir. that's what the doctors have said yes, but sir. tonight there is a name that is above every other name Jesus. there is a name there is a name there is a name hold my hands father in the mighty name of jesus christ we curse that spirit right now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing you wearing an atlas shoes god is bringing advancement and speed into your life i'm seeing you wearing the shoes of an athlete because you are going to run god is going to visit you in a very mighty way in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ breast cancer father let there be perfection in the name of Jesus Christ let her come let her come I know it's not even her I want to talk about it. your mother where is your mother my mother she's at home she's at home God is going to visit your mother in a very mighty way. Amen. God is, I'm seeing increase coming. It looks like a promotion or something is coming for your mom. And I'm seeing God visiting your family's finance in a very mighty way. Amen. I'm seeing a ring in your hand. Are you married? You are married. Yes. Where's your husband? He's, He's seated there. Please come, husband. I, I'm not sure I know you. Come, because God wants to speak a word to the family. Sir, the Lord God of Israel Amen. is going to visit your family in the next three months. Amen. You will see dramatic things. Amen. There are things that I may not say in, in the open now, but I see a miracle coming. I see a miracle coming. Amen. Um, how long have you been married, sir? Please. I'm hearing a cry of a baby. Amen. And it's a baby girl. It's a baby girl. It's a baby girl. This will happen by the Spirit of God. This will happen by the grace of God. Amen. Please lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I curse everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing you buying a new car. I'm seeing you buying a new car. God is showing me. You are buying a new car. It's a Toyota car. It's a Toyota car. You will see God do it by the hand of God. And God is also bringing you. Um, I'm seeing God bringing men to help you, even financially. Because this is one of the things that you really desire. Amen. God is bringing men to help you financially. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, let Amen. this be so. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
praise the Lord now before I pray for the sick did I pray for her from Benway State Mama come do you have a daughter ma yes this is the daughter I need to pray for you just leave your mother and hold my hands we need to pray for you so that you will not have a child before marriage huh? we need to pray for you there is a spirit in the family and we have to pray because even you as you are like this it's not like you don't love God but you need to settle down otherwise men men cause a lot of problems and it's not like you're a bad girl it's a spirit father in the name of Jesus Christ I set her free from every yoke of darkness let her go now go mama may God bless you I open a new chapter for your life and I declare in the name of Jesus that everything that has caused you pain my God is visiting you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah as we sing that song there's power in the name of Jesus all the people that came here for healing please just come and arrange yourself everybody keep praying in tongues and say father visit me God is visiting people inside and outside please be orderly let's do it very fast there's power in the name of Jesus there is power if you came with anybody's picture you can also hold it there is power it's called a miracle service it's not just a name it's an experience to break every chain of darkness no matter if there's no space just stand as we pray for others then they will give way sing it one more time there is power Listen. He that cometh unto God must believe there is more than enough power to address any situation. I don't care what it is and I don't care how long it has been. Hallelujah. I'm going to lay my hands upon you and pray. Listen. Some of you are coming in for sickness. But what is the, the root cause of all of this? Is, is, the, is the same root cause that is affecting finance, affecting marriage. God is not just going to heal you. Hallelujah. God is going to address the root cause. Hallelujah. So as I pray for you, I want you to march down to your seat whatever you could not do make sure you begin to do it hallelujah i already sense the fire of the holy ghost upon my hands very strong and all of us who are standing god is touching people inside and outside be focused don't be distracted by the way if you have not written your prayer request now is the opportunity to take advantage of it hallelujah father we thank you let there be such a move of the healing power of Jesus that as these hands are laid, stretch forth your right hand, O God, and let your people be healed in the name of Jesus.
This woman crying. Hold on. Hold on, please. Who brought this woman? I brought myself. Jesus brought me here. But the evil spirit has been attacking me. Something has been moving over my body. It's okay. Please don't cry. No. Uh, about 30 years now. Tonight is your night of liberty. I hear the chains falling. Jesus. I cause this spirit chains out. Out. I command that devil of death. I the chains. Leave this body falling. now. By the power that is in the blood of Jesus. I hear the chains falling down. In your, there was pain in your leg, but now is there? Pain? It does. Do check yourself. It does. Yes. And it's like your stomach used to feel strong, yes. and and then you feel something moving like a snake. Check it now. Check it now. Squeeze yourself. Father, Jesus, Father, thank you. There's nothing. I'm not feeling anything. Everything has gone. This was a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are here. Come on, celebrate yeah. Jesus, people.
now. Be healed now. This wicked spirit. I see you in the spirit of Christ. Go. 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 By the blood of Jesus. Understand 
if I ask you, it's because God told me to ask you. Whatever it is, just believe that as I'm praying for you, it's going. Are you getting my point? So move forward. Some of you, if, if we keep asking one by one, it doesn't matter what it is. Hallelujah. Go ahead, watch it. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord. Five years of ulcer, you'll be healed, right? And discharging. Hey, don't worry. God will set you free. That devil is a liar in the name of Jesus.
miracles everywhere and miracles everywhere miracles everywhere and right now right now miracles everywhere i see miracles everywhere everywhere miracles everywhere Please make sure you are praying. Don't think God is just touching the people here. There is something the atmosphere is doing. Let's just finish the prayer for this.
God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. lion in the spirit this guy has a wild spirit when he's angry he can kill and it's not his fault this is this is an ancestral thing see how many people trying to hold one person this is how it will tie his destiny this is how he will get married to a very innocent lady and be manifesting things that he doesn't know i set you free right now this is a place of liberty leave him leave him he's free Oh, yeah, now. 
Setting families free right now from marital delay. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. All those affected, as you count three, the fire of God will sweep across this place. There are marital destinies that have been tied down. Some of you, you are standing, but you are representing your family in the name that is above all names. Right now, anyone tied under any manifestation spirit husband spirit wife every manifestation of darkness as you shout the name jesus right now i command those doors to be open one two three free i set you free now right now right now right now be free I open up doors of marriages inside and outside. Be free. Be free. Every spell, every curse stopping your marital destiny. Hallelujah. Mommy, please can I talk to you? Your time of visitation has come because the Lord is saying he's going to wipe your tears and he's going to do this speedily. It's by the hand of the Lord. Please, where is your husband, man? Do you know why I'm asking you this? Because your situation is like in a similitude of that of Sarah, but God is going to wipe your tears. Please believe me. When I pray for you, I'm praying for marital delays. And then I'm looking at you. And the Lord is saying that this woman does not even have a husband. At the point I even say, ah, what is this? Is that true? And I'm asking myself, but I'll pray for you. You, you trust God to settle down? I'll pray for you. Yes, it will happen. It will happen. Anyone here due for marriage, listen anyone here be it yourself or any member of your family that is long overdue for marriage right now i prophesy in the name that is above all names let those doors be open now may those doors be open now something is happening in this place may those doors be open now May those doors be open now. Madam, you will stand before the people of God when your wedding card is out. If there is a God in heaven, I break that curse right now. Now! And I release your marital destiny in 
the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the Lord God Almighty. He's the Lord God Almighty. The earth is full of His glory. My life is full of your glory. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Hallelujah. All of you lift your hands. God is going to do something amazing here right now. Listen. Everyone is standing for himself now, not for family. Please lift your hands. Listen. I'm seeing powers that have tied down the advancement of people. Listen to me. Because the Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing someone standing with a sword. And this is a sword of judgment. This one is not for families again. There are many of us, you are walking but you are standing because nothing is moving right now in the name of jesus many of you will literally feel the fire of god come upon you like a baptism is burning chaffs burning chains some of you your academics are the way they are right now because of powers neke paratika come on now. father in the name of Jesus, right now, chains be broken, be broken, be broken, chains be broken. Baptisms are happening, baptisms of fire, personal deliverances of fire, fire, fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost is time for you to move forward. Fresh fire to move forward. Fresh fire, no stagnation. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hiya, ya, 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 ya. We are still going to do this again. Listen, I'm telling you. This is the root problem of many of the our predicaments. There are there are forces. Please follow me. This is the part you get to participate. Lift your hands again. Lord, what is it that has tied your people down? They have prayed for others. They have ministered to others. But right now, like a volcano, let the fire of God sweep across this place right now let it burn the roots let it burn the roots set the roots on fire set the roots on fire let your people make progress hallelujah lift your hands Let's enter the realm of your academics now. There are horns. Tied people's CGPA. Tied people's minds. But he said, I have sent carpenters. Lift your hands. It's not everyone that is dull. There are people who are studying. You are doing your best. Right now, all of those ones, your hands. Fire is coming on your hands. Just your hands. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. One, two, three. Fire on your hands. On your hands. Fire. Academic liberty. Fire on your hands. We break those chains. We break those chains. We break those chains. Come on, join me as you pray. Join me as you pray. Academic chains be broken. Se 
Alléluia. There are some of us, listen. God is setting people free tonight. One cycle of tragedy, as soon as it's finishing, another one is starting. It, it never comes to a point where your family can experience peace. The Bible says, and he dug a well, and they came and closed it. He dug another one, and they closed it. And he dug the third one, and they left it, and they said, Rehoboth, the Lord has given me room. I'm praying right now. Please pay attention to what I'm doing. This is the root cause. Believe me, you will be wasting your time for nothing. If you don't confront these powers, you can receive temporary breakthrough, but you will get back into the same situation. Hallelujah. In fact, we are going to pray just for one minute. Hallelujah. You are going to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. In the next one to two minutes, listen. I like you to tell the Lord that whatever is the root cause, you are not concerned about the fruits and the leaves. It may be headache, leave that one. Lord, what is the root cause of my stagnation? What is the root cause of my family's problem? In the name of Jesus, let it be confronted tonight. Lift your voice and pray. We attack the root causes of sicknesses, the root causes. Pray, pray for your business, pray for your ministry, pray for your academics. Visit me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. But there are many of us here. The troubles in our lives are as a result of the mistakes and the wickedness for some of us of our parents and loved ones. He said, who's seen that this man is in this situation? Is it him or his father? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please lift your hands. God is setting men free tonight. Anyone here going through circles of tragedy as a result of covenant and parental influence, as you shout the name Jesus after the count of three, may the fire of God separate you from the mistakes of your lineage. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Be separated, be separated, be separated, now, be separated, I break limitations, ancestral spirits, tribal spirits, territorial spirits, right now, be free, every name that is in any demonic covenant, we set it on fire now. We set it on fire now. Jesus died to set us free. Jesus truly died to set us free. It wasn't a joke. He said, but we do not see all things under his feet. Lift your hands again. Your hands again. 
Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I am ready to make progress. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to break barriers. And tonight, by the blood of Jesus, I confront and challenge the root causes of my limitation. Lift your voice and begin to pray. We challenge it. We challenge powers that have limited men. There must be a release tonight. Jacob wrestled with God. Pray. 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 It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to break limits. Break limits. I tell you, God is there are there are massive, there is an emancipation. Lift your hands again. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaks for me. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the price for my freedom. Listen, keep the hands lifted. Just keep them lifted. All instruments just stop. Just lift your hands and keep them lifted. There is a reason why I'm saying you should keep them lifted. Hallelujah. The spirit of God is going to walk through the crowd. Listen. Just keep them lifted. Something marvelous will happen right now. I'm seeing water that God is pouring on people. Right now, let the power of God move everywhere. Inside and outside. This water that I see an angel pouring is a cleansing. It's a purging of many people's foundations. Just keep your hands lifted. You may not understand what is going on but just lift your hands if you trust that god is in this place let the angels move right now row to row line to line visit men oh god visit men visit men Katelato. row to row water there are three that bear witness in heaven the spirit the water the blood i invoke the power of these three spiritual entities right now the mystery of the spirit the water and the blood i tell you see many of you will will walk into levels of breakthrough that will surprise you keep it lifted just keep it lifted keep it lifted you don't know what is happening in the spirit just keep it lifted jesus i see covens on fire i'm telling you covens of darkness on fire this is not just your family this is your life now you prayed for your family but you need to move forward otherwise men will think you are faking this thing a chain is falling from someone's head a chain is falling from someone's head a chain is falling from someone's head I see this in the spirit. A chain is falling. This is mental bondage. A chain is falling. I'm hearing sounds of chains. Hallelujah. 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 
Now, before we submit the prayer request, lift your hands. You are going to mention one thing, just one, that you want God to do, that everyone will know that this one, I prayed it here and God did it. Are you getting my point now? I'm just walking based on the instructions of the Spirit. He wants to give you a sign of His presence in your life. I know you wrote many things. Brothers and sisters, in the next one minute, cry out one thing. One. Just one. Don't be foolish. Pray. Pray. I'm ministering by the influence of the Spirit. Pray. No matter how impossible it is, pray. So, Topa, unto you that answers prayers, will all flesh come. Unto you that answers prayers. Soposa, leke sepanda, rekete kapa, mata leketa, what thing soever ye desire. When ye pray, believe that you have received it. Believe that you have received it. There is nothing out for my God. Pray it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone, let's pray in tongues for one minute as we collect the prayer request. Please, go ahead. God is just leading us to pray and he's doing many things in the background. Please, quickly, in one minute, let's submit the prayer request. Pass it to the last person. Pass it to the last person. Ushers, please, cooperate with us and let's hurry up. Pray. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Keep passing the request, but listen to me. I made a vow to God. I just returned from my retreat. And one of the vows that I made to God is that I don't care what people would think about me. But if I ever have the opportunity to minister to God's people, i rather have an ugly message and let people get results are you getting what i'm saying part of my my prayer and i i took out time to cry i said lord your people must see your hand it says oh lord you are my god early will i seek you my heart longs after you to see your power and your glory as i have seen in the sanctuary that means what I have seen in the sanctuary. I am also a sanctuary. Reproduce the result in my life. Hallelujah. So this program is aimed at bringing everyone into a place of personal spiritual success. And let me tell you, I know that it's not a very nice message. I wish that I didn't have to pray to confront spirits and powers that stop people. I like to preach a nice message that will just tell you that don't worry. If you believe everything is, has, has gone, it has gone. I wish, I just wish it were like that. But brothers and sisters, I can tell you it is not it is not you will believe that lie to your detriment it is not we live in a rude world and there are forces otherwise the anointing of the spirit is useless what then is the purpose of the anointing what then is the efficacy of the blood why then does Paul tell us to put on Hallelujah. I want your life to experience breakthroughs. See, otherwise, 
we have no right to tell people we are not faking it are you getting my point if there is no breakthrough in your life then what then is the confidence of the message that people keep saying god is i'm one i believe that one result can silence a lot of questions i'm not that believer that likes just no there must be an evidence in your life I don't know how many times I saw this when I kept praying the Lord kept talking to me and said the root cause deal with the root cause of people's lives root cause I'm telling you it's not just healing alone that's why you notice I pray for the sick very quickly hallelujah We are going to pray one prayer point before we have all the prayer requests here inside and outside make sure you are participating hallelujah i like you to pray and challenge every limitation whether mental whether spiritual anything that limits you is not of god lift up your voice and confront it i break limitations if there are no limitations you will make progress if there are no limitations you will make progress please everyone pray take this seriously even if you are walking be praying as you're walking lord i challenge limitations let there be no limits in my life let there be no limits in my life let there be no boundaries as far as your eyes can see as far as your eyes can see ushers please let's hurry up ushers please let's hurry up so potoko pata da 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 so pre teke le bondo subandi le kabaria Supreme take a leboko to baba 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 baba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. I'm going to be laying hands on these requests. Hallelujah. Pair yourselves into two. Find a man or a woman of prayer. We are challenging limitations. That word limitation media project it that word limitation write it that's the word we are attacking this night ye have tarried in this mountain for too long it said turn ye not words hallelujah hold on before you pray while i lay my hands here hallelujah hold the hands of the person you are going to pray if there's nobody you can join and make two or three Say in the name of Jesus. One more time. Say in the name of Jesus. I come as an ambassador of the kingdom. And I challenge every limitation in every area of my life. I command it to bow down. The Bible says, Naaman, hear me. Second Kings 5. Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a mighty man. But tonight we are going to confront the bots in our lives. You are academically excellent, but there are limitations. I don't know if there are limitations in someone's life that you are saying, Lord, in this miracle service, this is it. Hallelujah. While I pray in the next two to three minutes, instrumentalists play clash the cymbal and everyone pray hold the hands of your neighbor if he's joking leave him and hold another person
open the floor gates of heaven that is way would you open the floor gates of heaven Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I believe with all my heart that God is confronting limitations. Many of you don't know what limitations are. You, poverty is a limitation. Are you getting my point? Spiritual bankruptcy is a limitation. A prayerless life is a capital limitation. A wordless life is a limitation. When you are supposed to get married and you've not gotten married, it's a limitation. Academic backwardness. See, there are very few people who are here for, for sicknesses and all. It's, it's limitation. That's the name of what you are going through. Hallelujah. Before I prophesy, we'll soon have the last session and then we're, we're done. We're still going to pray. Don't be tired. I beg you, just follow through with me. If you believe that I hear God and if you believe we are walking by the Spirit, I'd like you to pray. Hallelujah. Limitations. I know a brother. Listen. Listen. I know a brother that for many years this gentleman was so gifted but I'm telling you nothing was working in his life. Please hear me. This is a true story. Very gifted but things were tied down. Hallelujah. He did everything, did everything that, that he knew to do. But when God made him know that these things are limitations, he took a quality time of his life challenging it. And brothers and sisters, when he prevailed, doors were open. It was as if the blessings have left heaven, but to now come to this realm, Daniel remained in prayer. Please hear me. Anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough. It's not the issue of I'm called into the ministry of prayer or not. Forget that nonsense that the devil brings. Men ought always. Luke 18.1 He spake this parable if you are alive. You don't pray because of fear. You pray because it's a spiritual transaction. It makes things possible in this realm. Hallelujah. We're going to pray one more time. And you're going to say, Lord, one more time. Visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Mention the aspects where you are facing limitation. Don't feel embarrassed. Mention them and say, Lord, let your fire come upon it. Lift your voice and pray. Koinonia, pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Sopata. Teka. Repoto pakata. Sente teke pretekete. Suporiata daraba. We lift up an incense of prayer. 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 Change lives, break limits, financial limits, support sata, intellectual limits, marital limits, job limits. We break it. 
Sopotopata. We break limitations, business limitations, ministry limitations, limitations of potentials. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Every time limits are broken, the Lord will bring a man to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Bishop Oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days. May this night be the certain day. Listen. Your next level is in the hands of a certain man. The Bible says they wanted to kill Joseph but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him. If not because of that certain man, they would have killed him. Are you following me now? The Bible talks about a man who was crippled. He could not carry himself. Certain men, no names, they lifted him and opened the sea. Oh God, whoever is that certain man that must appear my destiny, I, com I compel them to come. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice. Destiny help us. Financial help us. Spiritual help us. Men of influence. Men of access. Sopotoposh. Rokotoposh. Reketetete. Men that will connect us to our next level. Men that will connect us to our next dimension. Please pray. Pray. Pray, pray, Lord, we call them for. Hallelujah. When Jesus died, hear me, the prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption, but he was hanging on that cross. There was no place to bury him, and a certain man came called Joseph of Arimathea an influential man if he was poor and broke the king would not hear him the bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised you are going to pray concerning your finances does it make sense to you to pray we are going to pray and say lord whoever must appear to change my financial destiny i receive their ministry come on now pray come on now pray support Time and chance happens to them all. Time and chance. Be it a Cyrus or a son of the kingdom. Pray. We embrace their ministry. We embrace their ministry. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence, kings, destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us. Men of influence, men who can talk to kings. Pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison. Although anointed, there are many people here, your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses, but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification 
is bigger than where you are you have done your best when you have done all you need to do you need another man who is not you are you hearing what i'm saying certain men certain men it was the wine presser that told the king he said i know my wrongs this day there is a man oh there is a man many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials you have sharpened your leadership potentials it's not pride you know that it's time to break forth but the distance between you and the next level is that certain man lift up your hands oh god where is this certain man let him come into my life come on pray one more time it takes one man to change your business one man to change your ministry one man one man hallelujah listen to me there are many of you here with great business ideas hallelujah all you need is capital you have done everything you should do you need somebody to believe in you enough hallelujah listen truly the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong one man can announce what god is doing in your life and bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it I shared that scripture to none of the widows in Israel was a prophet sent God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him many of you have been in a place you have potentials for the throne but something is tying you down because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life is God speaking to someone here there are many of our parents with their qualifications they should never have to beg even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day they should not be begging but they need one man to announce them one man to recommend them please take seriously what I'm saying because this is somebody's prayer request oh Lord if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump even if it's just hundred thousand there are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us in ministry here we are great people this ministry you see today we enjoy recommendations mysterious recommendations while i was coming somebody was trying to call me again and again from the uk and he was saying man of god don't ask me how I got to find out about you and have your number he said when a man is in trouble he will look for help anyhow are you getting my point while you are sitting down to sleep somebody is waking others to talk about you but you must activate it it doesn't happen by magic are you getting what I'm saying there are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry there are many of you who graduated with excellent results you've even added masters and the king sent for joseph somebody must send for you to leave the level that you are and i prophesy whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names listen listen there is a man of god a popular man of god i'll not mention names the man had the gift of God like whatever but nothing could announce that grace are you hearing what I'm saying people needed his anointing and his gift but nobody could announce it and then something happened one day he entered a taxi true story when he entered a taxi the Holy Spirit told him sow a seed of 30,000 naira to the driver and he didn't have much and he told the driver take and he sowed that seed ah 
the driver looked at him he said what will i give you he said nothing he said sir can i collect your number and he collected his number please listen to me this is a true story when he collected his number the guy dropped he said Tor, may god bless you he was feeling bad he did not know that that was his moment of victory listen the very next person that will enter that car listen they were part of the regional organizers of redeem the convention in uk are you getting me one of the regions and then the man was talking and said we're looking for a man of god to complete the ministers we are bringing and we need men of integrity you know and the driver said sir there was a man that gave me his number this guy is a true man of god and that was it i'm serious they called him and they said sorry we are from this this region of redeem i tell you they brought that man after that ministration there were so many men of God that he never would have been able to see. Are you getting my point? They all called him and said, we'd like you to come and, and minister. Mike Mudok met a young man who was very gifted. Gifted, but there was nothing working in his life. And Mike Mudok looked at him and came. And he said, God told me to bless you. He wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said, this is an anointed man please open doors for him and the guy got 17 invitations everybody it does not take time to change your story what looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person are you hearing what i'm saying are you tired of praying are you tired of praying because we must call them for i don't want to waste your time let me just share it i don't know if you share this testimony did you share your testimony Erima? i'm not sure he shared his testimony Maybe at an appointed time, but let me say a bit of it. What ambassador? Eh? Unilever. This come. He just came back today. We met together at the airport in Abuja and then we came back together. By the grace of God, are you getting my point? And by the ministry of just one great man, Prof. Hallelujah. He has been selected as the ambassador of Unilever Nigeria. I, listen 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 the race is not to the swift they just came back from their training in lagos and we even bombed i was waiting for my luggage and i just saw him and they had told me he called me in lagos and he said he was around we never met how god can change a man's story my father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering there was no man to lift him his genius were rising and they, they, they just trampled this man. And it so happened that one man who used to be his genius, he went, when we went for crusade in 2006, six years, he was the one who interpreted for me. And he was also the one who interpreted for Renard Bonke when he came to Joss. He was that man. On account of the kindness, he went and said one or two things about my father. And when they went to my father's um, CV and all of that, they said, where has this man been? They said immediately he should leave Joss and report to Lagos. He has been there for three years now. Many of us are praying, Lord, take me to the next level. I'm telling you the secret. You need a man. Hear me. There are things you cannot do for yourself. You may be anointed, but your grace will remain there until a man can announce. You may have a great business, a multi-million and billion dollar business. But it takes one man to believe in you and announce you. Are you getting my point? I know one of my friends. He was my classmate. Very intelligent and brilliant guy. This guy finished, furthered his education. There was nobody to speak for him. And this guy kept struggling for years. Nobody to speak for him. And one day I, I prayed. I said, oh Lord, but help this guy. This guy has paid the price look when i say i i think i will classify him as a genius and i'm not telling a lie but i know other people before they even finish service the road has been made plain you need someone in your life please pray and say oh god send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life please pray send a man to change my music ministry oh god send a man send a man into my family koinonia pray we're rounding up 
Sopotopata. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man into my life. Pray for your business. Pray for your job. One recommendation is all you need. One man who can believe in you. Struggling continues until there is a voice that can speak for you. Struggling continues until there is a man that can believe in you and invest in your grace. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. I want to prophesy into your life. I truly believe that this miracle service will bring remarkable results. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. As much as possible, if you can stand, stand inside and outside. Has thou commanded thy money? This system of God's kingdom does not work without it being activated. Hallelujah. Don't get too familiar that every miracle service we are speaking, there is something that is happening. Hallelujah. We are entering the eighth month. And I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, I prophesy right now whoever needs to come into anyone's life for the next dimension of their lives to open up i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus business help us ministry help us marriage help us anyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above all names we command by the power of the holy ghost let doors of job be open right now let it be open right now anyone called barry 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 in the name that is above all names we provoke fruitfulness we provoke fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Anything in your life that is dying, business, ministry, potentials, your gift, your ideas, your proposals, your letters, your visions, your dreams, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I knock on the door of life and I command that let there be life, 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 life to that dry bone. Hallelujah. Everything that represents tragedy and disfavor in your life, that it keeps working for others until it gets to your turn, in the name that is above all names, may supernatural doors of favor be open right now. hallelujah i want to pray for your finance the lord is leading me to do this as many of you who believe it please can you hold a seed in your hand get a seed for some of you it may be a sacrificial seed if you don't believe it just just forget about it we don't cajole people we don't tell lies i want to speak into your finances hallelujah please lift it up is our prayer and our duty that God will come through in every area of our life. But let me tell you something. It will take a seed to open up the heavens. Just leave the hands. Leave the hands. I want to rebuke the devourer 
for some of you this is for you a seed of mercy to speak over your non-tithing for some of you this is a seed of wisdom to open you up to ideas of wealth for some of you this is a seed of open heavens a seed of breakthrough just lift it up lift it up Hallelujah. the Lord is showing me 11 people the fire of God is coming on your seed from your hand 11 people 11 people right now Lord let your power move let them know that this is not just a conjuring of men 11 people 11 people super yatamba let that seed be salted with fire we give it a voice in the realm of the spirit please lift it up let me speak with this seed aya, the power of god is moving because poverty poverty is one thing that god hates don't ever let anybody convince you that god is the author of lack and poverty your seed your seed is the key to getting out of this level trust me this is not a financial gimmick father right now with this seed in the mighty name of jesus every spirit of poverty goodness goodness how could we have ended this service without prophesying look at spirits i see it in the spirit there is an exit of wicked forces tying people's finances father in the name of jesus we release by the mystery of divine supply let there be abundance now let there be abundance now everything that has tied your financial life and that of your family we contend together as a family that it must be released in the name of jesus one more time jump up on your feet and blast in tongues and say lord this is your word you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere you will increase my greatness you will increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness this is your word for me i receive it you receive you increase my greatness financially you increase my greatness career wise go ahead and prophesy and say lord you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness oh you will increase my greatness i will be higher than i am now something will come upon me that will take me to the next season of my life you will increase my greatness pray tonight god is about to mark your life and open up the portals for a new season he said thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me lord we receive your word as a house you will increase our greatness 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 hallelujah Isaiah 54 Isaiah 52 54 
Isaiah 54. I'll read verse 1, you read verse 2, and then we'll read verse 3 together. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing, and cry aloud, thou who did not travel with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Verse 2. Are you ready now verse 3 read it as a prophecy to yourself for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited lift your voice and say i am breaking limits shake up a kata man break a telekata i am breaking forth come on prophesy koinonia i am breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit Nothing limits me. Pray inside and outside. I'm breaking forth. This is the word of the Lord. I'm breaking forth. On the left, breaking forth. On the right, I'm breaking forth. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm breaking for Leke Prete Keteya Zetete Pakadi Abahai We are breaking for By the power of the Holy Spirit Hallelujah Hallelujah Ay, 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 ay Seka Barada Balada Bakate Brecha Ezekiel 47 Sita Baka Prende Keba Shita Palada Bahai Ah, before I teach tonight, I have come to prophesy. Mande brandi shalakata. Zike preti shabalada ba kanda preti shata. Honestly, I prophesy to you that this is the season that you will begin to break limits. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy. I prophesy upon every area of your life. It's time to move to the next level. It's time to move to the next level. Break barriers, break barriers, break barriers, ancestral barriers, break limitations that came with your lineage. I prophesy to you, rise up. This is your season for your head to be lifted up. This is your season. You will shine like the star. You will shine like the star. Rise up to your destiny. Answer the prophecy of your name. I prophesy to you. Arise. Shine. Your light is come. In this season. Arise. Shake up the dust. Arise. Stop crying. Shine. It's your season to shine. The Gentiles will come to your light. They are kings to the brightness of your rising. I prophesy you are marked for shining. Arise and shine. Somebody is leaving his current level. Let me tell you, listen. I prophesy to you that the level you are now, there is a hand that will pick you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when they saw Saul, they said, Is Saul also a prophet? What suddenly happened? A man who left as a houseboy returned back with an anointing. I pray in the name that is above all names. Those who have laughed at you, this is the season they will see the glory of God arise. Those who have mocked your God, I prophesy, this is the season you will arise. Those who have said it's impossible, may the hand of my God lift you from where you are to where you need to be. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph. A man of great destiny was locked up in a pit. 
but the bible says the king sent for him let me tell you when the king sends for you no power in existence has the ability to stop you when the king if a messenger sends for you is all right but when he said the king sent for joseph tonight my god is sending for you it's time for your destiny to arrive the king is sending for you the king is sending for you hallelujah Ezekiel 47 listen 11 times in my dream the Lord kept telling me is the season of breaking forth for God's people 11 times 11 times I have never had such an experience 11 times the Lord kept speaking to me that go and prophesy that is the season that's why I came with that verse you can choose to believe it because you see when many people hear the word they are just those who just stand but there are others who say Lord this is it this is my word I take it I receive it it is my word Ezekiel 47 I'll just share this and we'll pray I want your spirit to be fired up tonight afterwards he brought me again to the door of the house and behold what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward and the forefront of the house stood towards the east and the waters came out from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way outside into the outer gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters from the right side now listen it says and when the man that had the line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits that's a level and he brought me through the waters and they were to my ankles again everybody say again oh the last lifting is not the last one the bible says again the word of the lord is coming again for many of us the last time it came was years ago it says arise shine not because there is light the light has come to you when the light comes to you you must arise hallelujah again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters and the waters were to my knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through and the waters were to my loins afterwards he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river i could not pass for the waters had risen waters to swim and rivers i could not pass over oh the lord will take you higher in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will take you higher in the name of Jesus Christ hold hands with somebody and we're going to prophesy combine all these three scriptures together and shout it let the pit of hell know that is your season for lifting go ahead and prophesy it's my season of lifting. It's my season of breaking forth. It's my season of life. It's my season of dominion. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shake up, 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 up. Prophesy. Breaking forth in every area of your life. I'm breaking forth. Spiritually, I'm breaking forth financially. Shake up, 
Alléluia. Alléluia. Let's take one more scripture. Revelation chapter 3. Man take bakata la bakata. Revelation chapter 3 from verse 8. It's projected. Are you ready? One to read. Stop. It says, I know your works. In other words, I've been watching you. Although things are not working, I watch the way you praise me through the pain. He said, I know your works. And as a result, behold, see, I have set before you an open door. He said, no man, no man, no government, no devil of darkness can stop it. Lift your voice and prophesy. The door is open for me. That prison door is open in the name of the Lord Jesus. Shake it, take it, take it. Sister, receive it for your marriage. That door is open. Receive it for your finances. Receive it for your career. The door is open. The power that will stop you must bow tonight. Pray through more scriptures. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. I'll read verse 1 and 2. And then I want you to read verse 3 from the depths of your heart. Isaiah 45. Thus saith the Lord unto his anointed Joshua Selman. Whose right hand I have holden. To subdue nations before him. And I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates. He says, and the gates shall not be shut. Verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. You are ready to read your prophecy now. Verse 3. Shake it, baba, baba. Bring the second labor carrier. He said, and I will give you the hidden riches of secret places. Lift your voice and pray and say, Lord, I'm ready to receive. Your word says you will smash the dead and you will give me the hidden riches of secret places. Come on, pray, Koinonia. The meeting is already on. Pray. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. The last scripture, Isaiah 43. Hmm. Isaiah 43 from verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? 
Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. How can a man make way in the sea? Hallelujah. Verse 17. Who bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power? They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. And they are extinct, they are quenched as a weak. Verse 18 is a prophecy to someone. He said, Remember ye not the former things. Forget about the disappointment of yesterday. Forget about who said what. Forget about what did not work. Are you hearing me? Forget about the result of yesterday. Forget about what the doctor said. He said, Remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Why? Verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Oh yes, he will do a new thing. Now we shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. I like you to lift your voice and say, Lord, I forget about the failures of yesterday. I forget about the failures of yesterday. In the name of Jesus. What the Lord will do will surpass what you expected him to do pray i remember not the disappointment i remember not the failure go ahead and prophesy it's a new season god is doing a new thing god is doing a new thing receive it as a prophecy Hallelujah. May your ears hear it. May your eyes see it. And may your hands handle it. I prophesy one more time. May your ears hear about it. May your eyes see the miracle. And may these hands that are lifted, may these hands handle it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give God a shout of praise and be seated. Thank you Jesus once in a while God gives us prophetic words like this to shake off every unbelief hallelujah thank you Jesus one of our passions as a ministry aside from helping people experience intimacy with the holy spirit one of our passion is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom everybody say the principles of the kingdom one of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of god is a system that is built on definite structures For me that was the ultimate confirmation that god is a just god hallelujah the bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom ends the right to walk in certain strange order of graces and blessings and may that be your portion tonight in the name of Jesus Christ so tonight I want to share with us something when the Lord gave me the word that he's increasing and expanding our greatness I knew at once that my job is to prepare us so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that God is doing hallelujah thank you Jesus you will be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ tonight I want to share a very simple spiritual principle and I will tell you why 
certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it if you listen if you if you listen and understand what i will teach tonight truly your path will be as a shining light we have prayed we have spoken the word but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word say amen and tonight i want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle write it down faithfulness 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 that spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other faithfulness I want to show you a powerful formula part of the construction of the kingdom of God this principle was put there and if you know how to walk it then you will keep rising everybody say faithfulness the first point I want you to know tonight is that it is God's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives it is god's desire for everyone everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online it is god's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness is god's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another it's important that you know that it is god's desire there are people who do not believe that it is god's desire for them to experience the blessings of god to rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other say it is the desire of god to see me increase hallelujah but then this these greater levels that we talk about doesn't just come just because of prayer or prophecy alone there are kingdom principles that we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good but I, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write i want to be very simple so that every one of us will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards god be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards God towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that God himself called one of the names of God is faithful he is not just he doesn't just have faithfulness he is faithful that is the quality of God that makes him trustworthy. It is the faithfulness of God. I remember preaching a message, was it last year or year before last? Faith in the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. 
to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy please i want you to pay attention tonight this simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next but tonight as light comes you will arise in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen the blessings of god upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of god the anointing of god the grace of god comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of god come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one i just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah matthew 25 matthew 25 very interesting parable that jesus gave verse 14 jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the bible is not a storybook the bible is the wisdom of god and if you follow through especially the teachings of jesus you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom the way the kingdom was supposed to function verse 14 it says for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man all right traveling into a far country and he called his servants three people please three people come you are the servants just stand three people where's the third person just stand face the congregation for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them good look up the bible says they are his servants that means he has been watching them is that true do you agree with me for them to be his servant it means they had a period of time when they were serving him and while they served him he kept watching and on the strength of his judgment and his findings next verse and unto one he gave what five talents right unto the second he gave what two talents and to the third he gave what what was the factor he says according to their several ability in other words their capacity to manage that resource are you following me now not according to their prayer request 
not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one he says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and hid the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 he says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20. behold i have gained besides them five talents more let's see what the master said verse 21 and the lord said unto him well done good and did he say good and hard-working servant good and faithful servant thou has been what faithful are you seeing now that's the quality i gave you certain gifts i gave you certain opportunities i gave you certain anointings i gave you certain graces i connected you with certain people he said you have been faithful over a few things what's the reward it says i will make you ruler over what many things did the guy pray for it did he fast for it he just showed himself faithful and the lord said i'm ready to take you in other words your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level enter thou into the joy of the lord 22 he who had received two talents came and said you did this and that and that verse 23 the lord said unto him also same word well done good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over what this is jesus teaching he's teaching us how the kingdom works let's see what happened to the third person 24 and he which had received the one talent came look at the guy this is the one talent guy now just, just watch carefully he said lord that's him talking now after a long time of god entrusting him with an anointing after a long time god gave him five members and gave him one year and kept watching what he was doing with the five members are you getting my point he kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you are a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now 
he said he, he, he was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finishes oh number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow it says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now he says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your thing wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sowed not and gather where i have not sowed what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me oh god give me talent give me church god gave you two members now you are complaining who pursued you who put a gun and said enter ministry hallelujah thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i would have received it with interest verse 28 therefore listen this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful he says take therefore it's not only the devil that takes from people it's in your bible god can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what in other words take from the one who is least faithful are you getting my point now and give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful listen all the three were servants all the three were emojis all the three were graduates right but over time the master kept studying their lives and he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadija giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sis. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand i told you the blessings of god always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 
2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet you see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you you say it's only a matter of time i'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how god blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of god is someone hearing what i'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light i'm sure they are working on it hallelujah it's a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah i know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh, uh, unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen i learned this in a very painful way look up please i want to talk to you never try to lift a man that god has not lifted you will be fighting god and you will be an enemy of god and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like uh -uh. oh god but this sister is faithful god you said you should have blessed her and god is saying leave me alone i'm the one who sees the heart of men listen if god does not lift anybody leave them there are you getting what i'm saying many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people you see a man of god and you say after two years your church is still five members abba oh god boy you are anointed you are such a nice brother you greet every sister that comes and god is saying continue talking there i know why i kept five people then you will see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious and god blesses the person i say god this thing i think we need to coordinate this god is saying who is the lord is somebody learning something tonight say faithfulness say it again faithfulness the blessings of god always come in levels that means whatever level god gives you the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say oh god when will it come when will that anointing come when will they start putting water for come, come and carry this my water and bring oh yeah now bring this my water some of you when you saw them putting the water you were just looking and say ah when will my turn come it will never come till you stop thinking about it hallelujah when you see the people serving it you just laugh and in your mind you're already wishing oh lord give me a church give me a ministry end this my inferiority complex oh lord and god is just watching you he said you think the kingdom is a place of joke see that that's what that's what some of us you know ah yeah the things that people think about in the house of god as a hot message like this is going on there are many people looking at so many things being distracted at so many things hallelujah faithfulness you came into a church and they say okay join the workers say join which kind of workers i was bible study secretary in my 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 local assembly i even led the choir you are now giving me chair to clean god didn't send me that i would do that one no give me something that is charismatic evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene hallelujah 
and then you will find out that you can be in that church with them god trains you at that season he will build you there is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free god is building you are you getting my point when you prove yourself to be faithful one day god will come to you and say you have been faithful you are always cleaning chairs you are coming early by two o'clock you come nobody knows you but you are cleaning the chairs and as you are cleaning the chairs you are saying oh lord i thank you those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed somebody may look at you and say sister if it's husband you want come for miracle service you know that's how people talk once they see commitment in the house of god they say the way this sister is walking i'm sure there's one brother that is i have must it be so Or when a brother is doing something he says he's looking for pastor the way this guy is doing his pastor is looking for commit yourself to be faithful i've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man i don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there Emmanuel Amechi Ani. I'll never forget his name. They started the church in a hotel not too far from our house. And they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard. He was part of those who brought somebody. So when the church started, they said I should come and play keyboard. When I came to the church, no choir, no nothing. I would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church. I've said it again. They never gave me anything. No thank you after service. The only thing they gave me once was Fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching. One Fanta, bottle Fanta and one cassette. And I accepted it with gratitude. In fact, it was my father started getting concerned because I would go to a local church, I would come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are walking in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure hallelujah there are people who will never walk in a place faithfully their job is to observe what is wrong why is this lady always looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem Shabi, you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing whatever says you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down then that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left say lord what are you saying say turn left it's time for you to change levels and the sister is just sweeping her thing i'm serving the god of miracles i know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to sin i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there binga they'll play the guitar and she'll come and lead worship I will never forget one day I lashed them. Can you remember? The day I lashed you seriously. Very seriously. They were not serious with their work. And I came that night from, I came from the throne room with such an anointing. And when I came, you know, it's not my fault. Jesus entered the temple. When he saw what was going on in the temple, say, it's the zeal of the Lord. 
and that day i made sure that i told them before the meeting they must pray for one hour pray in tongues for one hour clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear god has honored her today i'm saying this when you see god lifting people in spite of your criticism keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing bless you my dear. are you getting my point now say lord i receive grace to be faithful god gave you an anointing you can't heal any sick body but he gave you grace to preach you have refused to preach you don't do any evangelism see i'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power Haba, I, I let, let me shine too when i pray let the person fall how can i be frustrating myself i'm talking the guys agree with me i'm quoting a scripture he's responding back lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference that's what you want and god is watching god is saying look at this is the level of grace that i gave you and this is what you are doing with it remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level that's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit you can see a man will come and in one year he has entered some levels and you have been there for three years you get the same job in the same office other people are eyeing the boss shouting there and there this boss likes women the other one is saying lord i thank you for the privilege although they are paying me twenty thousand, i know it cannot do anything i thank you and i'll be faithful the other one is saying we wicked boss you give us twenty thousand. we are here walking you are using a phone of two hundred thousand. you are there grumbling and god is watching you hallelujah do you know god watches your works as you serve as you are faithful god gave you a little level when i started out i didn't start as anointed as this it would have been witchcraft if i started like this line upon line faithfulness i remember when we were very few those who were around one day we went for evangelism in jamaa hospital we went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of Christ. You are not ready to start small. Some of you, the way you start is true that God has called you in the ministry. And you, you've seen the stadium. You've seen yourself parking wheelchairs. And you will never start small. You want to start from the stadium. One foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to, the spirit of God led them to hold one crusade. What's the name of that place? Where they play golf. On your way to huh? polo field i said polo field as if i don't know god you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said god gave us an instruction you see i saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying i said calm down polo field god gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of god that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given god will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say i receive grace to be faithful say it i receive grace to be faithful there are many of you i'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing god gave you you started business God gave you 50,000. You are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the 50,000. You bought clothes. You bought phone. You are shining. And you say, I'm a kingdom financier. God said, no way. 
you can sing songs about million you can draw dollars on your pillow you will never be a kingdom millionaire but god trusts you with fifty thousand, and you say lord out of this that you have given your kingdom your kingdom and god says you did this for me and then god will test you and say lay down that isaac and you say lord it's painful but let it go god will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah god made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this Augusta, this is your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you are you are you getting what i'm sharing tonight it's a very serious message be faithful stop eyeing a high position somewhere be faithful be faithful hallelujah jesus started with a few disciples and then there were so many people then there was a crowd it didn't just start with a crowd financially god wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said josh in my presence somebody bought a jaguar a new jaguar 80 million tear rubber hi i said mm -mm, this is the devil here this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own god gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> especially when you see ladies you say come and push this golf out of here now as if it's not your own this is what society has made us to become and god is watching you yes you have to open the door from outside but give thanks lord i give you thanks is better than a bicycle i glorify you i'm not ashamed of it and you get up in the morning you are cleaning it when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if he cannot carry people he can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it god gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking you say keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful i receive grace to be faithful that's what i i tell god all the time this work this little work that god has given i i i take it that's why i take my job seriously every time you see me I, i'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me i put a sense of urgency time to pray when i'm praying for you nobody disturbs me i shut up the place and i'm praying i say lord you have committed these people and it's my job to pray 
bless them even those who are not tithing let the tithe of the house cover for them while they listen to the message you have not tithed for one year and the heavens are still opening over you let me tell you that this these prayers that we are praying a day will come god will shift you out alone and then you say so this is how the heavens have been faithfulness God gave you the opportunity to play keyboard. You don't rehearse. You are not serious. You are not improving yourself. You are there angry with anybody who can. See, there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness. We never appreciate what, give, what God gives us. We always want more. And we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful intimidated by people and we oh god i want this i want this and many of us get into all kinds of things that's what has made many men of god to get into witchcraft the truth is the honor they want to get is going to come how many of you know that all of us here will be blessed we are going to be blessed the millions will come a day will come the things you admire now see I used to think I like food. It's a lie. I don't like food. Lack. Everybody say lack. There is a there is a way lack can hit you. It will create lust in you. Anything you see, it must finish before you rest. That's what was happening to me. Listen, the things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with God. If you can be faithful, you will walk in it. All these cars, you see, an average young man under pressure. People lie everywhere. Say, ask them where are they walking? Say, I'm, I'm walking with one uh, uh, construction. What is the name? I say it's a construction company. I shuttle Abuja and uh, Zaria. So, what are you doing now? I came to solicit for another job. Is it true? It's a lie. What is pursuing you? impatience and lack of faithfulness whereas you are working in a cafe that's the construction company you are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job don't say i'm managing you are not managing you are creating a report card that will bless you hallelujah i'm in a cafe now how much do you earn i earn five thousand say you what kind of why are you falling your hand like this no problem say if it's five thousand let me give you your salary for this month and people intimidate you no problem he should carry his money and keep showing everything you just be faithful sister till now you cannot afford a withdrawal of one five no problem no problem i can plant i'm using my natural hair but i love god and i'm faithful i won't follow any man because of money my god will give it to me one of the miracles god did in my life is that i never this craving this craving for material things that you see somebody and say oh god if you don't take me there no one day i went to buy suit and somebody said this is the fashion in town i said i don't know who are the day i will buy what i want don't put any pressure on me who are the day what fashion where i buy what is good i buy what i like i pay for it if i cannot pay for it i go and wait patiently many of us there are shops you cannot pass right now you have eaten almost one quarter of everything there your money is not enough to buy it but you must buy it every time you pass i want black currant how much 600 how much do you have 59 say, just give me because we cannot be faithful at this level everybody say i receive grace to be faithful refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth 
if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys god was just watching them when it was time for for people to be blessed Eliab came out broad chested god said no way these are not the kind of people i'm not looking for warriors on the throne i'm looking for faithful servants you are in the worship team they never gave you a song to back up but that i mean to to lead but when you stand here huh and you are faithful you are singing from the depths of your heart you don't just grumble and say this coin on yourself the way they do their things just a few people who are shining once you hear people complaining like that the truth is is they want themselves to be in that position they will use a third party statement they say why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front once you hear people talk like that they are not lawyers they are not advocating for anybody they are speaking for themselves it's not like i'm speaking about myself or it's not me <laughs> who asked you say i receive grace to be faithful god wants to increase us financially but what have you done with the finances that god has given you you keep wasting money around throwing money everywhere doing things that do not glorify god and then you stand and believe that god is going to carry one billion or ten million or hundred million and give to you and then you see god bless someone else and you are like ah god i receive grace to be faithful lord i thank you if it is to sweep the psalmist said i i rather be a doorkeeper a doorkeeper god is speaking to someone tonight i want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing i gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of god not because they are not titan but they are not faithful they are not faithful at all the members raise offering the men of god misuse the money they do anything they want to do with it the man of god is celebrating a birthday party and they they waste so much amount and the ministry is just starting they don't have that kind of money you see that and we put pressure we men of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand. make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness he's seen accountability God says you are ready to move higher who is God speaking to tonight you've been unfaithful God gave you one room you never cleaned it for once everywhere in the room is leaking including under the house you have never said let me call somebody to smell it says in my property this big you is in my property and you want God to honor you you want God to bless you hallelujah your neighbor always picks you and brings you for koinonia you've never said let me contribute small foil two thousand naira you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful god will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh -uh. you watch television and you see great people like David Oyedeko, and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming 
saying let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now see what you are thinking say ah a man with this crowd the money you carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship and you see four people four committed people didn't i tell you to bring five five people why have stand up why have you not brought five five people you must bring five five people have you been faithful the the five people are not learning anything for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god but god knows for the rest of my life i remain a servant serving the house of god forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocols standing following me ah when koinonia started i used to climb bike machine during miracle service there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was the protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climb bike i enter taxi Some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go and say no let them not know that i didn't come with my car and you start explaining to everybody my car was faulty who asked you enter the bus and go home enter the bus and go home everybody knows you are still rising there is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there we are all young people rising it's just that some are faster than others what's the embarrassment about somebody comes to your room and it's only gary you have you are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself bring it out and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been thou forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning you must sing it from your heart
some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady you don't want to fall your hand that is foolishness of the highest order the person who played the fatherly role of jesus was a carpenter are you getting my point get this childishness out of your life there are some of you here the work that you do you wash clothes for people is better than prostitution is better than stealing learn dignity in labor be faithful there you're working and they're giving you 200 naira is small but the 200 naira is with dignity there are many of you god gave you an idea you and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed you laughed at god like sarah he said god if you don't if you cannot bless me i can wait there are some of us here god told you i will take you far but start selling used clothes you said ha ah, god used clothes i have never worn a um these clothes that the one uh, what they call it hallelujah i only wear designers why will i now begin to sell used clothes oh lord you are falling my hands and god will say you never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom some of you are you are not in any unit not in your church not in koinonia you don't serve you don't do anything your job and you've been coming here for a long time your job is to sit down watch others and complain about what is not done do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would lie us with decoration please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of god nobody needs to know you see take what i'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show god that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of god faithfulness god gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of god you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of god and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of god i tell you papa adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here i choose to be faithful i will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level that's why you can listen to a man it's not like he has so much rema or he has so much but he will just say may god increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness and some people will come on on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody this is the place of the anointing you will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness this morning i was just worshiping and i said lord will you bless your people worship was just playing early in the morning and I was crying tears were coming out I said Lord there are people coming tonight with burdens there are people coming trusting God a lady came in from just I'm sure she's around this lady took a step of faith nobody no place to stay she just came in she said I'm tired of what is happening in my life how could I come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise that's why we pray 
that's why i take this work that god has given because i know that before i was born god has been blessing people and if i'm not serious he will get me out of the stage and you see let me tell you dr paul and Encher said it is god who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot when the pot thinks i'm the only one god will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water never find yourself thinking god cannot do without you that is a big deception oh god can do without joshua selman god forbid if i die today ah yes you will cry for one week you say why did he die you go and listen to all my messages that i say i wouldn't die say oh he has died after one week case closed you will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and I, by the time you finish the fight something will... <laughs> ah thank you for this deliverance oh lord i have no business in all of this nonsense my desire is to serve you my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised you want the anointing be faithful you want greater levels be faithful where you are right now whatever department you are working be faithful stop complaining stop finding fault contribute your quota and god who sees what you are doing god gave us a word that is lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days god is going to be moving across this congregation checking the report cards of men let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah i told him lord whatever will change my faithfulness in service whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches oh 26 branches the man of god now has a television ah ah my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised is that you be praised god is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace but you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that god can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light 
men will just keep seeing you rising because God will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes I worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of God pack whoever and whatever you have I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love, I love your truth. I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love, I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity to pray for someone's head, pray for the head. Don't go and try and just get up. God didn't lead you. You go and tell somebody in the name of Jesus. You are seeing the person, no legs. You say, legs grow. You disgrace yourself and scatter what God has been trying to do. God is trying to announce you slowly. You now went and cancelled it. Because of pride or impatience. Right. Two dangers. Or two enemies of faithfulness. Very quickly and I'll round up. Number one is pride. Pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in. Pride. Obadiah 1 verse 3. I saw a scripture that blew me. I'll round up right now. Obadiah 1 verse 3. Is God challenging someone tonight? Obadiah 1 verse 3. Everybody read. The pride of thy heart has deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Your pride has deceived you. So that when God has given you grace for Saria, pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry. Pride stops men from being faithful. There are many churches in all kinds of death now going to television ministry that they have no business going to. God has not anointed them to that level yet. See, if God does not send you, you can still move. But the question is, life will ask you who is sending you. Many of us, pride, pride, the humility to remain at the level that you are in. Where are you walking? Ah, uh, I shuttle between Zaria, Abuja and Joss. What's wrong with saying, God is helping me? I've started and I'm in Zari. I'm doing something. God is faithful. Don't say I'm managing. Don't use that language. What you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else. We are managing with all these people while I'm working on another white collar job. It is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level. So you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing. How much are they paying me? In this primary school, I'm teaching primary one to primary six. You are teaching them math. You are not faithful. Like David in the wilderness. If you are faithful, one day God can give you your own business empire. And you sit down and say, I once was a school teacher. Hallelujah. A young man met me one time. I looked at him. I said how are you sir he said fine the way he was saying fine as if he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself i'm so so person i deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know i have the company and i'm doing this and that and that and the xyz said i should meet you for xyz and all kinds of stories and then i was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers, you are still blessed. 
if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say i receive grace to be faithful at the level that god has given, has brought me receive grace oh god jordan please stand up come I know when oh God, listen let me tell you something i'm sorry if i pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years jordan worked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully god was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful i will never forget when god blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but god is lifting him the last time i spoke with him he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful with what god has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful the clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what i'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient brothers the shoe you cannot buy now the dress you cannot buy now be patient that's the second reason why people the second enemy of faithfulness impatience i always preach and i say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of billions of naira today because they tried to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place i must go to gra i must go to my tama i must build in lekki whereas god gave you wisdom one small place outside the town six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting you've carried Listen, many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul Enenche. i want to invite papa you god is leading you and say invite one brother in your fellowship that god is helping say, ah, which kind of brother i want the one that the, the posters very funny things people do there are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of god that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them they just want a name i brought abc i brought xyz now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people 
and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping Say, I receive grace to be patient. Rise gradually. I believe in faith. I am a man of faith, but faith is not foolishness. Are you getting me? You rise from faith to faith. You rise from stage to stage. There are some of us right now, you are in level one. Some you are in level two. Some God has blessed you are in level five. Be patient in the ark of Noah. The cheetah, the fastest animal, entered there. The snail also got there. It's a matter of time. Wherever God has not taken me, I don't want any man to take me. There are times I have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because I know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come. And although there is room to go, by the time you go, you will die. That's why a man of God can leave one geography, go to another place and start failing. And you are wondering, is this not the anointed man you used to know? Hallelujah. I will go. I will go anywhere you lead me yeah. I will go rise up on your feet two prayer points and we're out of this place I don't just want to sound what God is saying just like I'm just making noise hallelujah all those who are worshipping with us for the first time I want you to come out I want to lay my hands on you the Lord is leading me to do this. All those worshiping with us for the first time, I want you to just come out and stand here. I want to lay my hands and prophesy upon your life. Please, very quickly, we're out of time. Everyone, if this is your first time of coming, just come and line up here. Hallelujah. I want to lay my hands and prophesy the blessing of the Lord upon you. God is able to do just what he says he will do he's got a fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God cause he will give up on you say he's able hallelujah I want to thank all of you for coming hallelujah the lord bless you we honor you we celebrate you now listen when i lay my hands on you as soon as i lay my hands on you i just want you to go out there is a committee that will meet with you hallelujah they will meet with you and just greet you warmly ideally i'm just supposed to call you pray and just bless you but the lord is leading me to lay my hands on you hallelujah i like you to be praying and as i lay my hands on you just a touch i want you to believe god whatever it is that you came here trusting God for. I want you to believe. As I lay my hands on you, for many of you, doors will be opened supernaturally. I want you to desire it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone in the congregation, stretch your hands. I will be very fast, very fast, just a touch. When I lay my hands on you, just follow the other people outside. Thank you, Father. Bless them, oh God. Bless them, I anoint you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I, I anoint you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you in the name of Jesus. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you. Receive the anointing. Receive breakthrough in every area of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive breakthrough. Let the hand of God be strong upon you. May the grace of God be at work in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke every spirit, every power of darkness that wants to destroy your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free from any assault of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
I lay my hands upon you and I take authority over everything that is not of God in your life. Return with dramatic testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever is not working in your life, I command it to work now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the heavens are open towards you. The heavens are open over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the hand of the mighty God, the heavens are open towards you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, enjoy unlimited grace. Enjoy open doors by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus, may the hand of God come strong upon your life. May He anoint you mightily. In the name of Jesus, may the grace of God speak in your life. Rise from one level of grace to another. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. You are blessed by the power of the Almighty. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Two prayer points. Prayer point number one. Oh God, take away pride and impatience from my life. Lift your voice and pray. Take away pride. Pride. Pride and impatience. Please pray it. Lord, take away pride. Pride that stops me from being faithful at the level you have placed me. I take away that pride by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray. Koinonia, I pray. I receive grace to stay at the level God has placed me. I receive grace to be faithful. I receive grace to be faithful, faithful to God, faithful to man, faithful in the house of God. Pray. I receive humility in the name of Jesus. I refuse a fake life. I remain faithful and God will honor me and bring me to a place of prominence. It won't be long because my faithfulness is my report card that will qualify me to experience greater levels of grace. Now pray against impatience. I receive patience in my life. Patience to move gradually. Patience to move one step at a time. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry to be rich. I'm not in a hurry to be influential. I take my time. I go through the school of the spirit. I remain properly trained. Properly trained to be used by God. I am well equipped. I move from one level to the other. Hallelujah. 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 This prayer point is for those of us who have been faithful at the current level. If you truly know under God that you have been faithful doing what you are doing in your business, in your academics, in your marriage, in your life, in the house of God, towards God. Don't try to pray for 8 hours every day. Start with 30 minutes or 1 hour. Be faithful. Don't bring all those religious expectations that make you feel you are getting spiritual. You pray eight hours today. The next time you pray again is after four months. When you have one terrible nightmare, you are cheating yourself. You, If you pray 15 minutes in tongues every day faithfully for three months, you will grow better than somebody who prays 10 hours today never to visit the throne room again. It's about consistency and faithfulness. Then grace is poured upon you and you can now move higher. Don't try to read 100 chapters of the Bible. For now, you can buy devotionals. Buy a devotional and use. You do not yet have the level of spiritual intelligence for some of you where you can navigate the world on your own. Be humble. Use the devotional. Let it help you. When you become grown in the world, you can now begin to explore. You are not using the devotional and you are not praying. Hallelujah. For those of you who have been faithful, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I connect to the anointing for the next level. Lift your voice and pray. If you truly know that you have been faithful, lift your voice and pray. I 
I receive grace, O oh God. According to your word, higher dimensions of prosperity, higher dimensions of the anointing, higher dimensions of influence. Pray for yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I make the altar call, let me advise you. If you are not committed anywhere in the house of God, whether in your church or in koinonia here or in your fellowships, or you are cheating yourself. There are certain levels of service or certain levels of lifting that only service can bring. You can enter your marital destiny cheaply through service in the house of God. You can enter certain levels of the anointing cheaply. You can enter a level of financial prowess. Sometimes I teach the leaders. Most times I teach the leaders on finances. And these are things that they receive free because they are faithful. Working in the house of God. During the retreat, the workers retreat, we have the opportunity to lay hands on all the workers. There are benefits and spiritual privileges. You will never compare yourself with someone who is faithfully serving in the house of God. And for those of you who are serving, either in Koinonia or in your churches, if you don't desire to serve, leave. Don't be in a place, a department, or a unit in your church you are grumbling about everybody you are gossiping about everybody you are fighting about everybody leave leave never find yourself doing that don't find yourself opening your mouth gossiping and castigating your pastor or the man of god that god has placed over you you, you are bringing a curse upon yourself there is a there is the all-seeing eye of the almighty god and whoever is not faithful with what God has given him, God himself will judge. Your job is to be faithful. The Bible says it is required of a steward that he be found faithful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those of us who are giving our lives to Christ, there are people here who are saying, man of God, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. Or I've never given my life to Christ. And this is the beginning of the faithfulness. I preached a message in just last week called the matrimony of love. If you can get that message, it will bless you. Four hours. It's a powerful message teaching on how marriage describes our relationship between God. And how that God desires the church to be like a faithful bride. Hallelujah. When If you lay your hands on it, get it, it will bless you. But right now there are people inside and outside the lord jesus is speaking to you right now and he's telling you it's time please everybody rise we're rounding up we want to give those people an opportunity you've never given your heart to the lord or you have given your heart to the lord but you found out that you've not been faithful you've not been faithful you've been walking in ways that are not of god and you're saying lord i'm sorry i want to make my ways right i invite you right now please come out Please celebrate them as they come don't wait for anybody the lord is speaking to you that you need to make your ways right with god hallelujah inside or outside please clear the way for them if there are people like that please make sure you don't sit back it is always our duty god bless you god bless you thank you it's always our duty to make sure that we make altar calls god bless you if you are still staying in the crowd god is calling you if you hear the voice of god tonight leave your seat and come out and say lord i want to be faithful i'm ready to commit my life i'm ready to commit my ways i'm ready to start afresh with jesus christ hallelujah keep coming hallelujah now those of you in front very quickly were out of time i celebrate you and i thank you for the courage lift your right hand as i leave there's one of you here you smoke you smoke all kinds of things god is warning you the power of those that addiction will leave you once and for all hallelujah lift your right hand please from the depths of your heart 
you are not just repeating after me you are talking to the Lord say Lord Jesus I come before you unable to help myself I ask you tonight show me your mercy show me your grace help me save me cleanse me from all unrighteousness tonight I declare that I'm for Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit and I make up my mind by the grace of God to live for Jesus from today and for the rest of my life Satan I have no business with you I am for Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out bless them preserve them by the power of your spirit may they enjoy sweet fellowship with the Holy Spirit I break habits I break addictions I cast out devils and every wicked spirit that is responsible for jeopardizing your Christian experience and I pray that your 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 altar call will be genuine and you will last may you rise from glory to glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you for making this decision please rise up